Well, we've got some new announcements and things happening downtown at the Veterans Memorial Civic Center. Joining us today, the CEO, Abe Ambrosia. And thanks for joining us, Abe. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. All right. So we're going to start with a rundown, but we've got some new exciting things to announce at the end. So let's just start with coming. what's coming up, though, in early February. Yeah, we're uh, we're going to hit off the you know the day right after Valentine's Day with just a beautiful show, Ballet Folklorico de Mexico. Um, extremely excited to have this show coming. It's uh, it's a beautiful show. Uh, you know the responses that we're getting from a lot of uh, a lot of people like you know, on social media calling us up saying asking us if we know when it's coming to their city. You know they're saying when's it coming to Columbus or Cleveland? We're like it's not. It's in Lima. Come see it. Uh, so uh, really excited to be able to bring this amazing beautiful show here to to Lima, Ohio. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's wonderful dance, and like you said, it's beautiful because so many colors with the outfits and things. Oh my gosh, it's it really is incredible. Uh, video doesn't give it justice. I mean, to to show truly what this show is going to be like live and in person, and the story is really incredible. You know, it, it talks about the history of Mexico, um, but you know, to to a ballet. You know, so you know, it's 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 amazingly beautiful, and I really truly hope that uh, Lima uh, shows up to see this amazing show. All right, and then on uh, February 23rd, we've got the British Invasion. Tell us more. Yeah, this is a really cool show. It's it's new. Uh, this is the first time it's it's gone out on tour. Um, it's built by the same people that did Simon and Garfunkel, um, the musical. Uh, so it's it's got a similar feel to it to like what Rain is like, you know, where it's a rock uh, musical kind of thing. Um, but uh, this one, the difference is it's not just Beatles. It's talking about all of those rock bands that were part of the British Invasion. So you got Beatles, you've got, you know, Rolling Stones and, and on and on and on with, you know, that whole British Invasion and how that was and how that impacted America. So it's, it's a cool story. It's a cool show. Uh, and we're getting some new graphics out right now. All right. Exciting stuff. Okay. And this is exciting too, especially for people who love to golf. You've got a golf outing coming up, but it's indoors. Tell us more. Yeah. Yeah, you know, every, I'm a golfer. I'm starting to get that, you know, that itch. I want to get out there. I want to golf. Um, so uh, we're, we're going to take advantage of that. We know a lot of people are feeling that way. And, and Swing Right does a great job with their golf simulators. So you have an opportunity to play Pebble Beach on the golf simulator on February 26th. And yes, it's also going to be a fundraiser for the Civic Center. So this is actually our second time we've done this. We we did it two years ago, uh, skipped it last year for obvious reasons, uh, but brought it back this year. It, it fills up quickly. Uh, we are trying to work with uh, some groups that if we if we do sell out too fast that we might try to add another couple of tea times a day before or a day after. Um, it's it's a great time. Uh, you uh, just contact Carmen Sakela Wells, our director of development, and uh, she'll get you hooked up with uh, a team entry. Yeah, and also sponsorship opportunities too. I mean, you could be a sponsor, have a team, have a sign, whatever you want to help out the foundation, the Civic Center. Yeah, and it's it's really great exposure. I mean, outdoor golf outings are great exposure too. But when when you sponsor a hole, you know, you just that team just sees it for a few minutes as they're going by. Here, when you sponsor something for this golf outing, the entire four hours that they're in there golfing, they're going to be able to see that sign. They're going to be see you know that you supported the Civic Center. Uh, so it's a really a good opportunity to do exactly as you're saying. All right. So now let's move into March because you've got announcement of a couple new things coming in. Yeah, a couple of new things. One's already on sale. That's Gary Allen. Uh, that's going to be on March 18th. Um, tickets really moving fast on that one already. So uh, make sure you get on LimaCivicCenter.com or come see us and buy your tickets as soon as you can. Uh, it's definitely doing very well, in which we've already seen for a lot of our shows. Uh, you know, Rodney Carrington, we just had, that was a sellout. Night Ranger, we've had, that was, you know, really full crowd. So uh, tickets are going well for a lot of these shows. Uh, and then a new one that we're just announcing right now is Styx on March 20th. Uh, we've had Sticks and Lima before. They really rock. They do a great job. Everyone has a great time when they come to see Sticks at the Civic Center. So we're really excited to have them coming back on March 20th. All right. And then one more on March 24th. Tell us who's coming. Yeah, Straight No Chaser. That This is uh, an acapella group that's got a really, you know, kind of funny history if you don't know about them. Started off as an acapella student group out of Indiana University. Um, and then a, a YouTube video went viral. I, I think it was like 10 years after they graduated. Uh, they're like, we got to get back and do this. So they did, and they've been touring since, I believe, 2007. Um, they do a great job. This is one of those shows that, you know, a lot of people come and talk to me, whether they're, they're, they they stop by me at the, the grocery store or wherever they see me. This is one of those bands that a lot of people have brought up many times to us. Like, hey, can you bring Straight No Chaser to Lima? We've been trying, and now we, we've been able to do that now, and we're really excited to have them coming in on March 24th. Wow, exciting stuff to uh, what's happening downtown. Abe, thanks for sharing with us. You bet. Thanks for having me. All right. Don't go away. Neat Edition continues in a moment.